What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Myth Busting Monday, or MBN. It's probably not even Monday when you're watching this, but you know what? Who cares? Welcome back. So I'd just like to take a real quick second to say, if you want to feature in a myth busting video, what you can do is down in the comment section, post a myth you want to see me bust on my videos, and you, of course, will be featured in next week's episode, or the week after's episode, or just whenever you get featured. Also, if you don't want to go down to the comment section, what you can do is go into the Discord, then tag me with a myth. Of course, the Discord is linked down in the description. Assuming it doesn't crash, you should be fine. Anyway, so with that being said, let's get into the first myth. So the first myth of today comes from the user Milky, and Milky is on my Discord, and he or she wants to know, if your boat is filling up with water, can you still catch fish in the boat? So if you didn't know, way back when, and I'm pretty sure this was in the Insiders build, you used to be able to catch fish inside the boat if there was water in it with your fishing rod. Now, of course, this was fun, but very impractical and pointless. So, of course, I went out to test if it really was possible. So getting straight into the myth, unfortunately, no, it is not possible, but it does make for some really interesting animations. So, of course, in the video, we'd done this with a sloop, but we also tested this off camera inside a galleon and we had the exact same result. All that's going to happen is your rod is going to instantly snap back pretty much the second that it does land anywhere. So hopefully that answers your question, Milky. All right, so the next myth of today's video comes from the user, the name's Bond. Gold Bond. I love that name, man. So good. And uh, Bond wants to know, can you shoot a seagull in Sea of Thieves and get meat? So if you didn't know, there's birds that fly around different sections of the Sea of Thieves world. I'm sure you did know this. And the first place that came to mind when I read this myth was Galleon's Grave Outpost. Now, the reason I say Galleon's Grave Outpost is because there's always some birds that fly around the tip of the mast on the actual Galleon of the outpost. So what I done is went up to the top of that outpost to try and kill one of the birds. It really does sound pretty cynical, pun intended. So as you can see by the video, it did take a few shots to actually see any sort of result when I was shooting the seagull. But from what I found out, after a couple shots of my blunderbuss, the bird did seem to disappear. Now there was no hit markers that came up, but there is no bird that's flying around. Unless you can see it in the video and I'm wrong, it does seem, yes, this is somewhat of a true myth and also somewhat of a false myth or a busted myth, depending on what you want to call it. So yes, I guess it is possible to shoot a seagull, but no, it's not possible to grab the meat to my knowledge. Anyway, have a look at the video. Let me know what you guys think. This is a little bit confusing to me. Next myth. I'm still bringing that clap back. I love it. Anyway, so this next myth comes from the user Enderlord0007. And he wants to know, does a bucket of water from your ship fill up a ship more than a bucket from the ocean? So what he means by that is if you notice when you do bail water out of your ship, it does seem to take a substantial amount out. And that is the water that he's talking about. So as you can see in the video, what we did is got a friend of mine to grab the water in his bucket from the ocean. And I had a bit of water from the ship itself that was inflicted via a gunpowder barrel that I managed to blow up because I'm an idiot. Of course, I'm sure you all knew that. But either way, the result of this myth was very surprising to myself and the person I'm playing with. And I'm sure this is probably gonna be surprising to you as well. So at first you'd think, no, probably your water would stay the same. But as you can see by the video, it does seem to work out that if you do get water that's from another ship or your own ship, then you re-throw it back into your boat, it's gonna give three or four times the amount of water that a normal bucket from the ocean is going to give. Now that may be a little bit confusing if you do watch the clip that's playing in the video right now, hopefully it makes more sense. So I don't really know why this is useful or how it's useful, but I do believe this is a very interesting possible bug in the game. I'm not entirely sure if this is what Rare did intend, but if it is, it's really cool and I love it. If not, there you go. Please don't fix it. It's pretty awesome. So in the comment section, let me know if you guys have any interesting uses for this or if you want to go test it for yourself. Anyway, with that being said, let's move on to the last myth of this video. So this myth comes from the user Fitz. Now, if you don't know who Fitz is, he is someone on my Discord. He was the first person who ever joined my Discord actually, and he's also one of the co-owners. And Fitz wants to know, is it possible to snap the mast of a ghost skeleton ship? Now, this in itself was so fun. I love doing this myth. And I just knew I had to get my psychotic friend, which I'm sure you all know, Moss, to come and join this. And of course, because he's a complete nut job, he was very happy to jump on that ship with a mega keg and sacrifice his life for the sake of this video. So when Moss jumped onto that ghost galleon ship, one amazing and one not so amazing thing transpired. So the amazing thing, first of all, was Moss exploding into a million pieces, which I'm sure that is something that everyone can enjoy. But unfortunately, the not so amazing thing was the fact that the mast did not break. So as you can see in the video, the mast of our ship that we were on did break, but the mast of the galleon ship did not break. With that being said though, it did take a lot of damage, which did eventually sink their ship, but it also sunk ours at the same time. So if you do want to go onto any sort of ghost galleon ship or ghost sloop ship, depending on what you find, with any sort of keg, don't expect to blow the mast because it is not possible. So anyway, hopefully that answers your question. 
And with all of that being said, that is all the myths for today's video. So as I said earlier on, if you do want to feature on any of these videos, what you can do is go down to the comment section, find me on Twitter, find me on Instagram, or go down to my Discord and type in your suggestion, then message me or tag me when you have done it. Anyway, thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like on this video as it does help out the channel. And if you want to see more of my content, what you can do is subscribe and hit that notification bell. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Listen.